Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In my today's video I'm going to talk about my attempt of cleaning vintage suede jacket. So I found some clips on my memory card that I filmed a couple of months ago but actually never got around to filming a whole video. So I just wanted to do a little introduction. Basically, you guys know that I'm a big fan of vintage things and thrifting and just secondhand shops. Whenever I can, I go and search for uh, secondhand things and online as well. I'm really, really a big fan of that. It just excites me, the possibility of finding that gem at a very affordable price. So I did find an amazing piece that I absolutely wanted to include in my wardrobe and it was back when I was still pregnant with my little son so it was 2016 it was just amazing clothing piece I'm going to show it to you right now so basically this is the jacket I found it at second hand store here in Italy and it's real suede it's basically handmade in Italy um, and it's absolutely amazing it's so well made I mean uh, the detailing on the jacket it's it's just perfect um, and it doesn't really look like it's been worn that much because from the inside label I can still see all the letters and everything it looked in a pretty good condition now uh, some items uh, that you buy at secondhand store it's very easy to clean you just uh, wash them put a little bit of uh, disinfectant um, dry them and they are good to wear but with items such as this one it's a little bit more problematic because you have to add that extra cost of dry cleaning um, so I ended up paying this jacket 20 euros which I think it's okay price for such item but I did not really calculate the price of dry cleaning um, anyway, I thought it's not going to be excessive. I thought maybe around 7 to 10 euros um, The price that I usually pay for my coats, wool coats, winter coats, whatnot uh, But uh, when I um, took this jacket to uh, my dry cleaners, they told me because it's suede uh, they do have to, you know, just have a different uh, procedure with cleaning it, so it's way more expensive. They said it would be around 50 euros, maybe even a little bit more than that. So I was like, what? 50 euros? Oh my gosh. I mean, the jacket itself was 20 euros plus um, added 50. Um, that adds up, you know. Uh, so I just did not really ever decide to pay that amount of money. I just kept it in my closet, uh, forgotten, and I said, okay, I might just like invest in dry cleaning um, the next month and the next month and the next month and years passed by and I never actually wore this jacket and I'm so sad because it's just such a beautiful jacket and I really really want to wear it. So what I did is I made a little research online on how to clean suede jackets, real suede um, and uh, I bought some products at my local drugstore that are supposed to just clean suede and then disinfect. Uh, I tried to clean it on my own. I don't know if I did good job or not. I'm hoping I did. I'm going to leave you with the clips now so you will see all the things that I've done in order to um, kind of bring life back to this jacket in order to be able to wear it. So this is the suede jacket that I'm planning on cleaning today. Hopefully it will be a success. It is a really really pretty jacket and it fits well so it's unfortunate that I don't wear it um, and I really would like to start wearing it more often. I will show you uh, a little bit close up of the jacket so you can see you know the surface how it's made um, and then I will show you the cleaning products that I purchased. Okay so the camera is focused now on the jacket you can see that it's suede but uh, it's like carved leather um, it has got some print uh, it's very very particular it's handmade um, here in Italy and it's a true vintage piece so it would be a shame not to um, use this jacket okay I have a plan I have these three products that I think might work I basically purchased this at my local drugstore it's a shampoo for suede so I'm thinking of first uh, just spraying this uh, all over my jacket and 
yeah okay i had to transfer these three products uh, on higher shelf in my wardrobe because my little one was grabbing them and i don't really want that they are so dangerous and harmful for young kids so anyway uh, my plan is to first uh, like wash the jacket with this shampoo i mean uh, to spray this shampoo on um, just a clean white cloth or directly on the jacket uh, i will see what the instructions say and um, and basically clean it and afterwards uh, i'm probably going to use this um, spray here which is supposed to just disinfect everything kill any germs or bacteria that might live inside of the fabric because when it's second hand you know um, it's better to just be on the safe side and disinfect everything and uh, later I would like to put this spray here which is protective for leather, suede um, yeah and it's like water repellent and everything so this uh, is probably going to be the third step so we will see um, hopefully it goes well uh, let me see what what does it say on the instructions okay so it says here to spray directly on the leather just to make a little test uh, beforehand uh, to spray it uh, on a surface that is hidden so just to make sure that uh, the color isn't transferring on the cloth because if it does then um, it's better not to clean it because uh, the color may fade or get ruined but yeah let's let's just you know what first i'm going to use just a baby wipe a uh, delicate and gentle one and just oh. you know go through oh, all yeah. surface <coughs> and then i will start cleaning it with the shampoo this is a baby wipe that i actually use on my little son so it's super super gentle Okay guys, those were the clips that I found on my memory card. This is everything that I did in order to clean this jacket. Um, and now that the springtime is finally here and that I'm able to wear it, um, I still don't know if it's clean enough, you know. Um, I do think that I'm going to wait until I wear it. Maybe I will just um, put it out in the sun. Now we have a lot of sun outside, so I will put it out in the sun. So, I don't know, maybe I will just risk and uh, just take it to the dry cleaners. I don't know. I mean, it looks really pretty. It looks very clean and everything. I know I made a special effort to clean it, but, you know, if it was a mine jacket that needed cleaning, I would say, okay, it's clean now. But because it was somebody else's jacket, I don't know. Maybe it's a psychological thing. I really need to be sure that now it's like completely germ-free and completely clean. I don't know, it might be in my head, but it's just the way it is. So, this is just a quick little video in case uh, you have a suede jacket that you would like to clean. Uh, these are the products that I used and I think it's really effective. I can definitely notice the difference. Uh, just the colors are brighter and more vivid and the jacket really appears um, newer. 
I would even say. So I hope this little video was helpful to you. We are all pretty much busy with, with spring cleaning right now. I'm also cleaning my wardrobe and just trying to reorganize my closet and my wardrobe and my life. So I'm hoping this video will be interesting and helpful to you. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more and I will talk to you soon in my next video. Ciao!